All right, this was the best ad that ran during last night's Super Bowl game, according to USA Today. More than 7,000 people logged on and voted. And this one for Budweiser took first place. Features a man who breeds and races a Clydesdale horse. The horse leaves, and then later at a parade, the horse makes its way back to him, and they are reunited. Oh, part of the new trend we saw this year, commercials that pull at the heartstrings. Yeah, they certainly do. U of D Mercy marketing professor Dr. Mike Bernanke is here to review some of the ads, and he has looked at all of them over and over and over again. What did you think of that? Yeah, definitely. It was a heart-rendering ad. Uh, consumers love it. They voted on it. You know, and the whole idea, of course, of giving birth uh, it was very important. And Budweiser, you know, has not been a winner recently, but uh, the Clydesdale Foal certainly was on top of the pack this right. evening. So that buds for them. A lot of commercials, though, about the automobile industry, and that's good for those of us in Metro Detroit because it sh it's an economic barometer. It shows that the industry is doing well, and that's part of our economy here. No, that's one of the reasons that it was a successful year, and that is the car industry is back, the economy is back, and, you know, it's very, very important. Matter of fact, long ads were back, and it was the auto industry that brought it along with the Chrysler three years ago, and they continue to hammer away with successful ads. All right, well, then there's another one, Chrysler's Paul Harvey ad. It was a little different. You, you never see the product itself until the very end. God looked down on his planned paradise and said, I need a caretaker. So God made a farmer. It had to be somebody who'd plow deep and straight and not cut corners. Somebody to seed, weed, feed, breed, and rake, and disc, and plow, and plant, and tie the fleece, and strain the milk. Somebody who'd bail a family together with a soft, strong bonds of I thought they were losing people because it went on and on and on like that, Mike, but this is one of the big talkers of the day. No, no doubt about it. It was two minutes. And this is uh, what Chrysler brings to the game. And by the way, interesting because there wasn't a product there. It's a great ad. There's one question. Will it bring sales? Will it gin up? you know, the Chrysler Dodge Ram, still to be determined because there was no real vehicle power in there, but the power of the night really won for the autos. I was surprised by that one because I think a lot of the younger viewers don't even know who Paul Harvey was, so they didn't necessarily have that, that reference. But my favorite, I think, was, was the Jeep commercial. You've been the reason we push on. Half the battle is just knowing this is half yeah, the battle. Yeah, this is the one that uh, that shows the families reunited, the because when you're men and women, uh, you know, in combat and service, coming back home family. and reuniting with their families. And Oprah Winfrey did the, the narrative for that. I really liked it. I thought this was very effective, you very heartwarming. You can't go wrong when you're talking about the United States of America and you're talking about our military people at a time when we're fighting overseas. Americanism, patriotism always win. And so Jeep, who really carries the day with that kind of thing, succeeded very well with that ad. And by the way, even the younger generation, like the millennials, thought this was a great ad. We know from our study. Having said that, I have to ask the same question. Will it sell automobiles? Great ad. Will it sell automobiles? Well, the so company's far. spent a lot of money, so they're sure hoping it will. They've been on a roll so far, and they're on a roll when it comes to advertising and promoting themselves and doing a good job up there in Auburn Hills. Thank you, Mike Bernanke, U of D Mercy Marketing Professor, for being with us tonight post-Super Bowl. Thanks, Mike. Now you Super can get Bowl some is the time when the ads come out. Mm -hmm. <laughs>